To perform a manual calibration of the iRED, we will need the iRED itself, a regulator with cal adapter, and the calibration gas, which is 100 parts per million ethane nitrogen balance. To begin, power on the iRED by pressing and holding the A button until the Sensit logo appears. There will be a system check in which the LEDs and the display are tested. Followed by a flow check. A display for the serial number, software revision, and date and time. And finally, a warm up. Once the iRED has reached an optimal temperature, the countdown timer will begin from 600 seconds. After the warm up, there will be a self test of the internal cell. This process should take approximately three to five minutes. After the cell check is successful, the instrument will advance to the work display. After the iRED has completed its warm-up process, we first need to verify the date and time and check for a flow block before we can calibrate. To verify the date and time, enter into the menu with the C button and continue pressing the C button. until set time appears. Select set time with the B button. If any adjustments are needed, press and release the B button until the hour is correct. Press and release the C button to advance to the minutes. Press and release the B button to adjust. And when the time is correct, press and release the A button to save. Press and release the C button to advance to set date and select by pressing and releasing the B button. If any adjustments are needed, adjust by pressing and releasing the B button, scrolling by pressing and releasing the C button, and saving by pressing and releasing the A button. We can now exit back to the working display by pressing and releasing the A button. To check for a flow block, block the inlet of the iRED with a finger until a flow block message appears. We can now begin the calibration process. To do so, press and release the C button to enter into the menu and scroll with the C button until calibration appears. Press and release the B button to select and press and release the B button again to begin the calibration process. The first part of the calibration process is sampling clean air. On the display we have readings for the modulator and light values of the internal sensor of the iRED. These values are useful as a reference when troubleshooting if any issues should occur. After a stable reading is achieved, the zeroing cell will actuate into the light path internally in the instrument. The cell is now in, and we have the same values displayed on the screen. After a stable reading is achieved, the instrument will either re-zero or advance to the next portion of the calibration. The instrument is now re-zeroing, which is an approximately two minute process. This process can be repeated up to 10 times, depending on how much adjustment is needed, but generally will be as few as one to three. After the two minute countdown has expired, the instrument will again check for a stable reading on zero error, and again check for a stable reading with the internal cell in place.
This process will then either repeat or advance to the next portion of the calibration. The process has advanced and we are now notified to apply 100 parts per million ethane. First, screw the regulator onto the calibration bottle. Then attach the calibration hose to the inlet of the iRED. After the gas has been applied to the instrument, we can begin the calibration by pressing and releasing the B button. The instrument is now waiting for a stable reading using the calibration gas. Calibration has now passed, and we can remove our gas. We have the option to print the results or exit by pressing and releasing the A button. Calibration is now complete. To verify the calibration data of the iRED, enter into the menu by pressing and releasing the C button, and scroll by pressing and releasing the C button until View Catalog appears. Select by pressing and releasing the B button, and the most recent calibration date will be displayed. Exit back to the working display by pressing and releasing the A button.